Welcome to the fourth annual Drexel Startup Day. And you may have noticed we've now called this actually Drexel Startup Fest because we decided that we've done such a good job over the past uh, few years in building this program and making it a very experiential opportunity for everybody that let's go a little wild and go from uh, one day to two days. Our tagline at the Close School is hashtag we are starters start something. All of our courses, extracurricular activities, everything is based on this notion that there is so much power in starting something. Five years ago, we started the Close School, assumed Bayada, and had dreams about where this all was going, and look, look where we are. What I love about Close is Close enables an entrepreneur. It empowers them to take their idea and crystallize it, hone it, refine it, and turn it into a real business. You need to require patience when you start building a team. You cannot expect Telling someone, get this done, and it will just happen. It takes time. But at the same time, having this kind of experience is very, very necessary for first-time founders. You need to build a team because if you want to have an impact on this world, you can't do it alone. You can't do it with one person. You need a team. And the whole team has to be equally invested in that vision. So this was a very, very big learning experience for us. What they really care most about is the team that they're investing in. And here's why. Between the team and the idea, investors are want to invest in a team that understands the market and is, is going to find a way to zig and zag and find their way to success. And so investors will always invest in an A team with a B idea way before they'd invest in an A idea with a B team. The number one driver for me starting my company is the thought of going to work for somebody else again conforming to their culture, reclining the ladder, having to assimilate, but yet still find a way to be a leader wherever I landed. I had an idealistic view that I wanted to work with people that I loved and adored and shared a similar ethos with. And the number one driver was I wanted to create my own culture. I wanted to create a culture where I could help people to succeed, where we could build cool things that would have an impact on our community and our city with people that I adored and respected from all different backgrounds. And I will tell you the one thing that I think defines my success is that I've actually able, been able to accomplish that. Culture, loving the projects you do, loving the people that you work with is to me the ultimate dream. Just go get into it and start doing it you know the concept of an mvp there's very very different stages of it uh, but i think it's really learning what not to do is, is what's going to make you successful and the best way to do that is just keep trying things um, as soon as you come up with ideas be hungry be passionate about it and get out there and try them and try to recruit people to your team when you're a startup you have no money for custom acquisition doing marketing doing social ads go attend conferences go attend competitions because these competitions and conferences got us articles in news magazines, VentureBeat, Fast Company, TechCrunch, and those have international readership. And that's what got us the uptick. And now we have around 60,000 downloads on our free consumer app. People all around the world, not just the US, but Southeast Asia, Canada, UK are using the app and sending really encouraging feedback. That's what lets entrepreneurs persevere when your customers are using and saying, thank you so much for creating this. This really helped me in my classes or this really helped me with my work or the job interview. That's what keeps founders going.